In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite base defensive concept that you can use to slow down the uh, gun bunch tight end meta in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also want to let you know that I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I've also got a Patreon. If you haven't heard of that, that's where I put all of my Madden 22 eBooks. I've got 15 offensive and defensive guides right now, including this bunch tight end, as well as this nickel normal that we're going to be talking about in this video. So if you want to get access to all of those eBooks for just $10, uh, a month then I would encourage you to join my patreon again I'm gonna put a link to that in the description if you want to check it out um, and again and again if you want to check it out like I said it's just $10 a month unlocks everything over there okay guys so the defense that we're gonna be talking about today comes to us out of the San Francisco 49ers playbook and it's gonna be talking about the nickel normal you can actually find this in multiple other playbooks you can also find this play in multiple other playbooks I just like the nickel normal because it has all kinds of these uh, match coverage is built within the defense, okay? Uh, the coverage we're going to be talking about today is the cover four palms. Now, uh, what I like to do is go ahead and, you know, if I'm using the Rams or something, sometimes they put Ramsey as their slot corner. So just kind of be aware of that you might need to RB sub him out. Um, and then I like to have safeties at linebacker. But anyways, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, cover four palms. And what I like to do with this defense here, if you take a look at how this play is going to work, you're going to see that this is kind of the core uh, shell. Now what I like to do with this, I actually like to take this safety right here and I'm actually gonna user him. And I wanna kind of stand, you know, kind of right in this little area right here. Now real quick, I wanna to audible to another coverage, the cover three buzz match, which is the stock cover three audible in this formation. You're gonna notice that if I do this, then I am a hook curl defender as a safety. So this little two play scheme, because what's gonna happen here is if they audible, or they motion. So let's say you get a concept, uh, maybe something like inside switch, and they're gonna motion the slot to the right on a slant to create a slant post combo over the middle of the field. What I like to do with this, as soon as I see motion, I'm gonna audible to cover three buzz match, pinch my defense, and I know that my responsibility is to use her this middle of the field slant, as you can see right there. So that's kind of a little bit of why I like to uh, have the nickel normal and the cover three buzz. Because if they ever go to two by two, the cover three buzz match week is my go-to defense. And the cool part about this is my user uh, doesn't change. It's just my responsibility does just a little bit. But we're going to primarily talk about bunch, tight end, PA boot over some of that stuff. So let's say, for example, that they run uh, PA boot over on this play. Well, your responsibility is actually relatively simple. Uh, what I like to do is go ahead and bluff blitz the nose tackle on the left side of, or the defensive tackle on the bunch side of the screen. I like to take this other guy, uh, Donald. You can do a couple different things with him, uh, the DT on the on the right side of the screen there. Uh, what I like to do with him is I like to go ahead and either spy him or man him up on the running back. Um, one of the, Either one of those two things would be fine. And then you're going to blitz your user, and you're going to take this number th or this guy that's normally in a three re receiver hook. And what I like to do with him is man him up onto the inside slot. So you see how we're going to be man coveraging Scotty Miller. And then all we really have to do here is kind of help on the crosser. And then once that we pass that crosser off, uh, we can go ahead and bail back to the post. So you see here we're on the crosser. You see the post gets covered perfectly by that safety. Um, I did get a little separation towards the end there. But you see for the most part, this is going to play really, really well uh, against this meta, meta, meta concept. So again, uh, just take the linebacker, man him up on the number three, bluff blitz the DT on the left, uh, QB spy the defensive tackle on the right, and then if they're running kind of your standard boot over, now you've got a spy on the field, and then you see how that crosser is going to be completely matched by Jalen Ramsey, and then the post is going to be fairly well bagged as well. So really you're kind of that guy that's kind of picking up the pieces if there's anything over the middle of the field that, that we need to be wary of. Okay, now once you, stop, once you start stopping... Uh, this concept they're going to go uh, to this one right here which is a uh, basically a, a coverage bomb and uh, what you're gonna see with this is we're gonna do the exact same adjustments so again just like this across the board and this is where I really like to take this guy and man him up on the running back if they're gonna do this a lot but if they're not doing it a lot you know you don't have to uh, but again same kind of thing right so you're gonna be over here this guy goes in the out so you're gonna bail back to this post notice the guy still matches the post pretty well and is still in the area to guard it everything else is pretty much bagged accordingly okay 
So now I want to go over another concept from Bunch Tighten In that is really, really effective. That is a simple uh, slant streak and then post concept. So again, now we're going to be down here just like we were. But now remember, we've got that slant manned up. Okay, we got that slant manned up and we have this quarter flat on the right side of the field. So we just need to kind of help uh, carry it for just a second. So we're just going to carry it just for a second and then we're going to bail back just like we would out of anything else and notice how the match coverage uh, pretty much plays that well. Again, again, obviously the safety is significantly speed disadvantaged. If you have anybody there that, that they're going to be fine. Okay, you, you're not going to have to worry too much about that. Obviously, you're free to go back and use with that. I am using uh, two controllers, so just kind of bear with me with that. But you've got really good coverage on this play. Now, uh, another concept that you're going to see, especially if some of these concepts stop working, is they're gonna go to something like this curl flat corner concept where you see right here, and then on the back side of this, uh, typically they're gonna block their tight end, and then they're gonna take their running back and kind of do all kinds of different things. Maybe a Texas route, maybe an out route. There's a lot of different things they could do. But what you're gonna notice by this match coverage is this this uh, outside flood here is going to be bad kind of as is and then you're just kind of working over the middle so in all of this here lurk is still kind of staying in the same area and you're really being able to kind of take care of a lot of the major concepts uh, within bunch tight end now let me show you another concept that i think is actually widely underutilized out of bunch tight end and that is the slant post concept i've talked about this on the channel before um, but again what you're going to do in this situation Remember, this is similar to trips tight end, so we don't have to really worry about the tight end. You're gonna notice that that outside quarter on the right is gonna take him. So still, we're, our flow is still the same. We're gonna go from the slant, and then we're gonna go back to that post, and you see how this Palms coverage pretty much bags this concept. So there's a lot of things that this Palms concept can bag for you out of this formation. Let me show you another concept here real quick, uh, probably the last one of the video, and this is uh, kind of your standard you know, once they kind of start getting in a position where they got to kind of figure something out, they might go to this inside switch play. And typically what you're going to see here is we're going to streak the running back, maybe drag uh, Godwin. And then we've got this post coming in behind that we're going to put in a motion. And again, your user is exactly the same. They wouldn't motion right, motion left. Your, your user lurk is basically exactly the same here. Okay, you're still working in this little middle of the field looking for any cross or coming from this side. So you're going to open here, carry the drag, and then you're coming right back to that post. And you see the concept is really, really bad. So this Palms coverage, I think it's the best coverage in Madden, at least definitely for bunch tight end. I think that if people aren't running match coverage, you might want to start thinking about it because it does cover a lot of things that zone drops can't. Um, so I've got a whole ebook on this stuff. If you want to grab it, uh, remember everything is linked in my Patreon. So by joining the Patreon, you get everything. You get all my defensive ebooks, all my offensive ebooks for just ten dollars a month. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video and click the link down below to get signed up.